morning guys and I hope you are all well um, welcome back to the channel um, and welcome back to uh, Woodland we've come to South Downs National Park today um, yeah a bit of a bit of a find and I told all the guys about about this place because it looks magnificent when you drive past it on the road but there is absolutely nowhere to park I say that I've parked in the only spot on the road as you'll see by the video I parked to to drive through and then I drove I had to drive all the way back and parked in the same place so there is only enough space for one vehicle and it's quite away from where I wanted to go so I'm literally where the van is parked the park van is parked just over there so um potentially not the best place for more than one person unless everybody came in the same van so that's just a just a point anyway yeah south down national park um i wanted to come here because like the la like last week uh, when i saw um from the side of the road the light coming through the trees and how it was reflecting off all the fern and and you know reflecting on the side of the the trunk of the trees it looks fantastic um, unfortunately like i said i've not come to where i wanted to go um on the part of the woodland um because there was nowhere to park and I simply can't walk that distance. So I'm going to use the, the, the area where I am, obviously, um, and just try and get some, some shots from here. It's not gonna be a very long vlog. I have to apologize for that. I'm not particularly well. I've not been well for, I don't know, four days. Um, but, um, you know, I like coming out and a bit of a bit of poorliness isn't going to stop me taking photographs so yeah um i'm going to take uh what photographs i can i've just seen this tree here which is reflecting this light i'm going to take that that the, the trunk on the, on that the grain on that looks magnificent um and um yeah they're potentially again not going to be the best photographs in the world that you'll ever see but hopefully you'll enjoy the content um, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, th guys, thank you very much. Okay, so the problem I'm having, like always, is with my hat and my glasses. So yeah, um, anyway, um, I've taken a photograph already. I just love, in fact, I'm gonna take it again because it's sort of better now. Um, I, I love the way this light is breaking through this mass of trees and the trail of light is around the trunk of the tree. Um, it's, it's on the trunk and it's on the ground surrounding it, just coming through beams of light. It looks awesome. It looks really, really nice. The amount of detail on the trunk of this tree, um, amazing. Um, I always say it's 200 foot tall, don't I? But I think this one's considerably bigger. Um, beautiful. And the light on these, um, I think they're silver birches again. <laughs> I, like I said last week, I really don't know. One tree from another. But th there's all these trees. It looks like a right mess. It looks like a jungle of trees. Um, but the light coming through is reflecting off all these silver birch in, in lines. There's like a line of light, darkness, a line of light, darkness. It looks fantastic, yeah. So, yeah, I'll share those with you now. I don't know. I don't know how they'll look. Um, I think they'll look all right. But um, do let me know. So I've, I, I've walked a little bit and the light behind um, these trees is reflecting all across the ferns, um, but there's not really a lot on the trees. So the trees sort of stand out in darkness and the ferns, because of the amount of light on them, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but it also looks like a family, a family of trees. So all the kids are in the middle. And then on the outside, you've got two bigger trees, which looks like mum and dad, which are protecting those trees. And they sort of go through age. I, I don't know if it makes sense, but um, to me, it just, it looks really nice. I mean, the sun is just up there. I want to take a photograph of that in a second, breaking through the trees. Um, but this, I really like this. Hope you like that one. <laughs> um, so I've taken this one. I've done it at F22, ISO 64, 1.6 seconds, I think it was. Um, but I've done it at F22 to maximize that starburst. There's already one from, in fact, I'm gonna do it again because it looks even better now. Um, there's already one um, naturally, but the F22 will increase that obviously. Yeah, it looks good, looks good. Okay, I'm going to move slightly and do it again. I'll share both of them with you. And then I'm going to do it with the 14 mil as well. So you'll get three photographs. Let me know which one you like best. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the, the problem I'm having is that just behind these trees, 
is the road and, and I don't know if you can hear it but it, it's a reasonably busy road so I, I haven't, I'm having to wait for gaps in the noise I've not got the best hearing in the world um, and then taking those photographs and um, also the sky today I mean all week it's been pouring down with rain and all of a sudden I come out and, and, it, and it's dry and a bright bluey white sky um, and, you know I actually wanted it to rain today I can't win, can I really? But um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some, I'm getting some quite good ones. I mean, this starburst. So if I do this one, um, yeah, I mean, I'm using F22 to increase that starburst, but it's, it's naturally there anyway with the, the way it's diffusing through the leaves of the trees. So yeah, and the, the light on these ferns looks fantastic. Right, so, okay, I'll share those. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna try and take one of this tree again I've come back as you can see, but I'm going to try and take one of this tree again from the other side to see if I can catch that starburst with it in it. So, yeah, okay, I'm going to move it in. All right, thanks. So, I was going to, I was going to say this is probably one of my best woodland shots. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I, 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 well, I wouldn't be lying, <laughs> but uh, this tree, I've come behind it. The sunburst is just in the top third. The, uh, there's a tree on the right which is just behind you. There's this trunk or this branch, whatever it is. It's actually a trunk from another tree. It's running from the right hand side across this tree and up. Um, it's dark green sort of feeling. However, there's this uh, ray of light that's running across the, the, um, the ground and, and in the leaves. It looks fantastic. Looks, looks fantastic. I think so. You tell me. I'll share it now. Thanks. I'm getting battered by these branches, but I've come behind this trunk, guys. I've got this stump in front of me, and it's got this fern that's grown out of it. Looks great in itself. Then behind it, I've got the tree that we took a photograph of before with these fantastic um, trunk. And um, there's another tree that's growing from the right of it, and it's grown across the tree. Um, and then we've got the branches and the ground reflecting this sunlight. Um, and then we've got the starburst just at the top third of the shot. Um, yeah, she looks, she looks like a great photograph. I don't know if it's too busy. I don't know if the other guys would do it. I really do not. Um, yeah, so uh, F22, ISO 64, 1.6 seconds. Looks great to me. It looks like a great photograph. Let me have a look. Yeah, I, I think it looks like a great photograph. It, that, I mean, that's for you to decide. Let me know. Thank you. <laughs> um, I've just come across a tree that wants to give a message to Mr. Khan about the ULES scheme. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I'm just knocking around for different compositions and I've got down because there's a ladybird. Um, it was crawling all over my bag looking at my lenses. thought it was going to nick one. <laughs> and um, yeah, he's walked everywhere and I've taken, I've put the 105, got it right this time, 105 macro lens onto the camera and I've been photographing him. Um, yeah, what a beautiful little thing. So I'll share a couple of those if they're in focus. And uh, yeah, I, I tell you what I have noticed though, since I've got down, the, the light in front of me on the ferns and that is so much better. I've got, uh, I mean, I'm sitting on the ground and it looks fantastic. So I'll take a couple of those and I'll come back to you in a sec. We're nearly done. I'm feeling a bit whacked. So uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute. Well, um, yeah, I've just photographed a couple of trees that look like they still rule the place. They've fallen down, their roots are all out of the ground, they're all totally intact, um, obviously dead, but they, they look like they're still the boss. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, I don't know how those photographs will turn out. I took them handheld. Um, yeah, but, but I'm done, I'm done. I'm, I'm going home now. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the photographs. I'll share them all again. Um, hopefully the ones of the butterfly workout. Um, I was quite chuffed when I saw that. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys. Remember, like, subscribe and comment on the photographs. Remember to visit the website as well. You can get there by going to baker.uk.com 
um, and join in on the blog. Leave any comments that you have on the photographs on there as well. Um, yeah, see you all again soon. Thank you.